All right, just to preface this video, this is a re-upload of an older video. It had some pretty bad audio levels, so I thought I'd take a chance and fix those for you. So if you've already seen this video, you can move on to the next one. And if not, well, enjoy the video with some better audio levels. Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions. Now today we're going to be looking at some 3D printer upgrades. So I've had this Ender 3 version 2 for about a year now, and it's worked really well. Done a lot of great prints on there, but there's been a few prints and a few filaments I've had some issues with. So today we're going to look at five upgrades on how to improve some of the issues I've had in the past. So let's get to the design. All right, so the first upgrade we'll talk about is changing this filament spool from a top mounting to side mounting. And there's two main reasons for this. So the first reason is to avoid this filament being pulled in at a very steep angle. And sometimes this is causing uh, snags or this to be caught. And what you'll get from that is under extrusion. So a side tangent on under extrusion, that's when your extruder is not putting out enough material. And when you're printing in a layer like this, you'll get gaps or empty spots, which will create weak points in your print and also doesn't look good. So the second reason is safety. If there ever was a fire in this extruder head, I do not want a full spool of flammable plastic above it. So we'll take and mount this off to the side so that we don't have to worry about that. So for this upgrade, I've 3D printed off this handy bracket, which will mount to the side here. And then we will take this top bracket and mount that on here. So that'll be mounted about in this area. For this upgrade, I would recommend only doing it on the stock Ender 3 where the filament is entering in through the side of the machine. If you upgrade your machine to direct drive, it's better to leave the spool at the top of the printer so that it can feed in directly. And as far as snags go within your printing spool, I've found personally that 100% of the time it's been my fault. Uh, letting the spool unwind and not paying attention when swapping over from one spool to the next. All right, now with that upgrade done, we can see the spool is feeding directly into the servo motor. Now to go along with this side mounted spool feeder, I also added this uh, little filament guide that will go and screw on right here. I shouldn't need this, but this will be an additional help to guide that in to make sure things are going smooth. All right, now I've got that mounted up, and this guide will make sure this filament goes directly into the servo motor. And a follow up on the side mounted spool, printed overnight, and even though it had a really bad spool. Again, I don't think there's such thing as a bad tangled spool. I think this one was completely my fault. I just got lucky on this print. It did not result in a jam, and did not have any under extrusion, and the part came out looking nice. And onto the second upgrade, going to be upgrading the stock fan shroud and mount onto this upgraded one. So the main reason I'm making this upgrade is because inside this stock fan shroud, the front fan is mounted with two bosses and those plastic bosses have broken off. And when I turn the 3D printer on, it's loose inside there and it's rattling around making a bunch of noise. So that's no good. So this upgraded fan mount is the Z19 off of Thingiverse, and it was the coolest looking fan mount I could find. So it's got one fan up here, and that will blow down into these two plenums that will go and blow onto the nozzle. And I've got the second fan that will be mounted in here, and that will be blowing onto the heat block behind here.
This Z19 fan mount was really easy to install. All the original parts worked and I did not need to alter anything. So now let's take a look at the sound level before and after the installation. Alright, now the third upgrade is a nice to have and doesn't really improve performance, but it is extrusion slot covers. So that's going to keep some of the dirt and debris out of these extrusion slots. Yuck, look at all that printing debris. It's everywhere. All right, with those extrusion slot covers installed, things are starting to look pretty good. But now we've got these blue knobs that are throwing off the color scheme. Now for upgrade number four, let's do a cosmetic upgrade. So now in yellow, I've 3D printed off these two smaller knobs and this one larger knob. So we're gonna get those blues upgraded to yellows. Now those caps are really starting to pull together the full look of this 3D printer. And the last one is a small but important detail, logo. And now this logo, we're gonna put right over the QR code. And that wraps up the end of the five upgrades for this 3D printer. If you've liked this video, leave a comment or subscribe down below, and we'll see you on the next Desktop Inventions.